Ah, <laughs> uh, what's up, guys? I'm back. It's been a while. Low key, that was the longest, uh, the longest na hindi ako naglabas ng video on this channel since I started. Two days, yeah. First time that I didn't put out uh, a video in two days, but I think rightfully so naman yun, kasi I wanted all the attention, all your attention, to be on Ulysses. To those who are affected, um, hopefully y'all can recover. Uh, we're praying for you guys. If there's any way that we can can all help hopefully diba magtulungan tulungan tayo lahat because like what i said on my stories man pagdating sa mga ganitong bagay uh, pinoy ang most skilled yes we are all resilient um low key iniisip pa ng gobyerno kaya na yung resiliency na wala yung preparation pero you know i know that we can recover from this hopefully all of you are safe and dry but yeah prayers out to everyone affected by the calamity and magtulungan tulungan lang tayo lang naman ang importante so god bless to all of you um, and hopefully y'all are safe. Okay? Uh, the Kiefer story was a good one, was a successful one. Kiefer, 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 Kiefer. Alam ko nasa bahay ka na ngayon, wala ka na sa bubble. But, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for that. Uh, by the way, hindi pala ako nagpakilala, no? Dalawang araw ko lang hindi ginagawa ito. Nakalimutan ko na yung mga spill ko. My name is Mike Reyes. What's up to all of you? You already know. Back on my channel after two days. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Tama ba yung sinasabi ko pa? If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you have, thank you very much. And welcome back. At magkwekwento ang basketball tayo ulit like always. Alright? Alright? Alright. Okay, so, I put out a story. Uh, I made you guys choose kung anong pag-uusapan ko for today. Guys, disclaimer lang guys. Wala kaming wifi dito sa house okay I, I something's wrong i'm sure everyone is is a lot of people are suffering from this or a lot of people are affected na wala din kay wifi so wala akong wifi guys i'm let you guys know so hindi ako makakuha ng images from the internet so walang mga magpo-pop up dito sa tabi ko which is sad because i know that's a big factor sa mga videos ko because syempre may visual effects tayo but since wala uh, i don't want that to stop me naman from handing out information and from handing out you know good points or my points wag natin sabihin good points sabihin natin oh, no it all okay no 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 my points and my thoughts about certain Topic. So, disclaimer lang, ah, sorry kung di ako makakapaglabas ng visual effects for this video. Sayang, kasi I'm gonna talk about players pa naman. But then, you know, we'll, we'll push through. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, if you don't follow me, follow me on Instagram. It's at Mikey.Reyes. But I put out a story kanina, and sinabi ko, pinapili ko kayo kung ano yung topic na pag-uusapan ko. And I know that all of you have been waiting for a Hooper versus Athlete video, a Hooper versus Athlete, um, a Hooper versus Athlete discussion. Okay, because it's a serious thing. It's a serious thing, man. Like, they're both very, very effective. Both the athletes and the hoopers can be as effective as each other. Totoo naman yun. In basketball, there are athletes and there are hoopers. There's a special breed na parehas, hooper na, athlete pa. Those are the scary ones. Pero, man, low-key, I'm gonna break some hearts because y'all will, y'all will, like, understand that, oh, shit, my favorite player is actually an athlete. Like, he's not a hooper. I mean, di ba? Or, oh shit, my favorite player is a hooper. He's not really an athlete. Diba, pag-uusapan natin yun. I'm gonna break some hearts. I'm gonna make you guys, uh, I'm gonna shake some heads for sure. Some of you will hate me. Some of you will love me. But, you know, I'm just gonna be real and I'm just gonna let you guys know what I think. Alright? Alright. First things first. First things first. Pag sinabi kong athlete, hindi ibig sabihin walang skill. At the same time, pag sinabi kong hooper, hindi ibig sabihin walang athleticism. Okay? Ganito ah. When I say you're an athlete, you rely on your physical attributes. Like what I said nung video ko about Kiefer. Pag sinabi kong athlete ka, you rely more on your physical attributes. It doesn't mean you don't have skill. It doesn't mean that you can't ball. I'm saying, at the end of the day, diba, when your back's against the wall, you will rely on your athleticism. Whether it be your height, your strength, your speed, your explosiveness, your leaping ability, dun ka uuwi. Ang sinasabi ko, backs against the wall, wala ka ng choice, uuwi ka sa athleticism mo. Yun ang sinasabi ko. Yun ang athlete. So don't don't come at me and say, oh, porket athlete hindi na magaling. Of course not. We have athletes who are, who are skillful, but at the end of the day, uuwi sila sa athleticism nila. The same way that if I say you're a hooper, it doesn't mean that you're slow. It doesn't mean that you can't jump. It doesn't mean that you don't have strength. It doesn't mean you're not explosive. It just means that when your back is against the wall, uuwi ka sa skills mo. Yun yung sinasabi ko. Okay? So, no hate over here. 
this is me just being real with you guys. Walang bias to man. Like, you're an athlete because you rely on your athleticism more than your skills. You're a hooper because at the end of the day, you will go back to your IQ and your bag pag worst comes to worst. You get what I'm saying? So, wag lang tayo mag exage na, oh, eh, sinayo mo athlete si ganyan. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya magaling. No, man. No. No. LeBron came into the NBA an athlete. He did. He was not skilled. I mean, he was, pero he would always, you know, uwi siya sa leaping ability niya, sa strength niya, sa explosiveness niya. But through the years, look at him now. Kawhi Leonard. Diba? When he first came in, like, arms, length, hands, athlete. Athlete. Pero ngayon, like that mid-range jumper is crazy. He got the bag now. Talking about Kawhi Leonard. So, there's another thing that I wanted to talk to you. That I, I want to talk to you about before anything else. Skill can be learned. It can be taught. Man. It's tough. Like, it'll take you years to actually add to your bag. It's not something that you learn today. Tinuro sa'yo, okay, bukas ma-apply mo na sa game. Of course not, di ba? You gotta, like, repetition is key when you're talking about skill. So, skill, kahit papano, pag masipag yung player, ma- ma- matututunan niya. He's gonna add moves. He's gonna understand the game through experience, through through exposure to different levels of basketball, different defenses. Makikita niya na, okay, ito yung mga kailangan kong gawin. Yung corners or yung angles ng court, magigets mo. And you're gonna know what move to do or what move to make to get a shot off. Okay? So, ang skill, guys, natututunan. Like I said, LeBron James, ngayon, sobrang skillful na. ba? Pero, dati, babanggay lang niya lahat, girama away, diba? Um, diba? Yun yung kulang kay Yanis. Yanis right now is an athlete. So, he needs to hone his skills a little bit more. He needs to get his shot more efficient. He needs to have those that, that pull-up game, that step-back game to be more effective, especially in the playoffs. So, para sa akin, ang skill na tututunan. Understand? Understand. Ang athleticism naman, I'm not saying you can't get faster, you can't get stronger, you can't jump higher, pero there's a certain, like, parang may peak ka lang, like, inborn. I, I believe, ha? like, may peak ka lang. Hindi naman ako pwede, kahit mag-squat sa ko or mag-plyo ako, or mag-strength and conditioning ako sa pinakamagaling na strength and conditioning. Like, kahit mag-attack athletics ako with Tim Grover, I'm not gonna jump as high as 30 Ravenna, man. I'm not gonna jump as high as Juan Gomez de Leano. I'm not. So, ang sinasabi ko sa skill, kahit papano, may improve mo na talagang maximize mo. Sa athleticism, medyo mahirap. Medyo mahirap, guys. Medyo mahirap, man. Like, that's just the way it is, man. It's just inborn. Athleticism is somewhat somewhat inborn. I'm not saying they didn't work for that. Pero, di ba, some are just born with it, man. The same with skill, guys. Maraming tamad. Sobrang tamad. Hindi nag-extra work. Hindi nag-skill work. Pero, man, give them the basketball. Let them operate. And they're gonna find a way. It's just, they were just born with fucking basketball skills. So, this discussion is fragile. Kasi baka isipin ninyo. Pag ganito ka, hindi ka na pwede maging ganito. Pag ganito ka, hindi ka na pwede maging ganito. Pag ganito ka, hindi ka magaling. Pag ganito ka, mas magaling. No, it's just a category. Both can be as effective as each other. Diba? Yanis is still fucking MVP. And he's an athlete. He's not a hooper. He's an athlete. He's considered an athlete. But MVP. So, yun lang. Huwag tayo masyadong mag-look into it. Okay. So, that's out the way. Let's talk about hoopers first. Let's talk about hoopers. When you when you say Hooper, he's not athletically gifted. Like, pwede din pala kasi Kevin Durante. Eh. Pero, uuwi ka sa skills mo when it's all said and done. Uh, hoopers that come to mind. Ryan Buenafe, again, is the best Hooper ever that ever lived or that ever played in the Philippines. Ryan Buenafe, man. Seldom is in shape. I think his only athletic ability is he can hang in the air. Like, na matagal. He doesn't really lift weights. He's not really fast. Can't really jump that high. But, damn! Like, he just knows what to do with the basketball, man. Um, You can talk about Aljun Melesio. Not that big, diba? But he knows, like, he can get a shot off. Like, he will rely on his skills to get a shot off. RK Ilagan, skills. Terence Romeo, skills. Kiefer Ravenna. Dave Ildefonso. Dave Ildefonso is the opposite of Sean Ildefonso. Sean is buff, banggaan, diba? can take punishment, can give out punishment, can jump. Dave low-key, bro, like, his skills are, whoa, off the charts, man. His shot is on point. 
Diba? His, his bag is deep. But that's a skillful motherfucker right there. Richie Rivero is a hooper. I, mean, I know that you're gonna say that Richie Rivero's athleticism is crazy. He can jump out the building. I know that. But, man, his Pinoy step, his Euro step, diba? that's a hooper. He doesn't, like, get in the lane and, like, babanggayin ka sa air and use his strength. No. He doesn't get in the lane and then just jump on you and, like, no. He gets in the lane, umiiwas siya sa defenders, diba? So, isiksik siya sa mga masisikip. He has that crazy one-leg jump na pag kakatch niya yung sarili niya, one-foot jump, and then he catches himself, and then an extra step. Like, that's hooper shit. That's hooper shit. That's not athletic shit. Okay? Um, who else? James Yap! James Yap, man! Like, damn! James Yap, man! I think the only athletic thing that James Yap has is his big-ass hands. But other than that, man, that's hooper skills. That's a hooper right there. Diba? Um, who else is a hooper? Polly's a hooper. Polly's a hooper, man. <laughs> Polly's bag is deep. So yun yung mga hooper na sinasabi ko. Like at the end of the day, like when they need a bucket, you can go to a hooper. Like a hooper can create. Like a hooper has counter moves. If you cut him off, he knows what to do. At the end of the day, he has a shot somewhere in his bag that he can use. Pagdating ng final possession. Kaya ang sinasabi ko, like a team needs a hooper, man. A team needs a go-to guy. A team needs, when I say a go-to guy, a hooper. Not a go-to guy, athletic go-to guy. No, a hooper. Like five minutes to go in the game, four minutes to go, three minutes to go. You need an isolation guy or a pick and roll guy. Kasi, te, kasi pagdating dun sa mga ganong possessions, hindi na pwedeng iikot yung bola. Di ba? Kasi you don't know what's gonna happen. At the end of the day, you need to get a shot off. So, that's just me. Like, at the end of the day, man, like, we gotta go somewhere na siya yung gagawa ng, ng paraan. Siya yung gagawa ng sitwasyon. Like, the Milwaukee Bucks. At, like, Chris Middleton is their hooper. Chris Middleton, man. That's the guy they go to. Their back's against the one. They need it, and, and they need a bucket. They need a bucket, they go to Chris Middleton. Diba? That, those are hoopers, man. Lou, Lou Williams. Diba? Kyrie. Damian Lillard. Westbrook is an athlete. You get what I'm saying? You see the difference? Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, those are hoopers, man. Those guys can create a shot anytime they want. Like, they can get me the basketball. I'm gonna do something, whether it be my dribbling skills or my shot. I got fades. I got a deep bag, man. That's a hooper. Diba? So, hold up, guys. Commercial muna tayo. I just want to thank Killer Cases Manila. Follow them on Instagram. I can't put up the photo again kasi nga wala internet. Pero, I'm gonna put their handle right here. Please follow them. They sent me a couple of cool cases. It's our logo, guys. Oh, shit. It's our logo. Appreciate you guys. They got me two for my phone. And then I have an extra one. They also sent me a Kobe one. Kobe. Kobe. But yo, man, thank you very much for these, though. These are low-key nice. A bit narcissistic, but, you know, that's the logo. So, what can I do? Again, thank you very much to Killer Cases Manila for sending these over. Check their IG out, man. If you need a, a cool case, if you need a case to protect your phone at the same time, look good. You already know. Killer Cases Manila, man. Shout out to our friends over there. God bless you guys. And they look really cool. Again, a bit narcissistic, but that's the logo. Thanks, Killer Cases Manila. Thank you. All right, dito tayo. I feel like dito tayo magkaka. This is the part when where I feel like I'm gonna get hated on or I'm gonna get like y'all are gonna disagree. Okay, athletes. Athletes are physically gifted. You know who's an athlete? Kobe Paras. I said this on my Gilas video. Kobe Paras is an athlete. Kobe Paras needs a deeper bag because if you watch Kobe, like. He's big, he's he's explosive, he can jump out the building. Diba? Like, he has all the tools to be a dominant force in any league. But sometimes, he doesn't have an extra counter move na pag naharangan na siya, binabangga lang niya. So, I'm not... Kobe Paraz is... is man, diba? Kobe Paraz is an MVP candidate in any league that he joins or in any league that he's in. But imagine Kobe Paraz if he had a bag... As deep as maybe Dave's. Like, a Dave Ildefonso who can, like, jump quicker, faster. You get what I'm saying? That's just me. Kobe Paras is an athlete. And, and Jolo Tamay also told me na Kobe knows. So that, to me, as a UP Fighting Maroon fan, I'm excited because Kobe knows that, okay, 
I need a deeper bag. I need some moves. I need to work on my skills. And then you mix that with this athleticism. Oof. Man, that, 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 that's something, man. Trust me. I'm excited for that. So, Kobe Paras is, for me, the number one guy whom I, 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 I like, when I think of athlete, Kobe kagad yun na naalala ko. Another athlete for me, Mark Nonoy. Mark Nonoy! I'm not saying Mark Nonoy doesn't have the skills. Huh? Mark Nonoy is, you know, he's got, he's got that shot, that pull-up game. But, at the end of the day, Mark Nonoy is gonna beat you with his speed, with his shiftiness. Diba? Like, he, he breaks ankles because of his shiftiness. I'm not saying he doesn't have a good handle, but that's an athlete right there. Can you imagine if he can hold that, if he can get a, an Aljun Milesha bag to go along with that athleticism, that speed, that shiftiness, that, that explosiveness? Mark Nono is, is the reigning rookie of the year. So obviously, his athleticism was effective last year. But imagine he still has four years. If he can work on that skill set, Ooh, that's crazy, man. That's gonna be that's gonna be huge, Mark Nonoy. That's gonna be huge. Another athlete that I can think of. Alam mo ito, ito a Loki. A pinag-isipang ota ng matagal eh. Rens Abando. He's got the shot. He's got the shot. That 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 sweet-looking jumper is crazy. Pero ito pinag-isipang ko talaga to. Uuwi pa rin si Rens athleticism ni. Eh. Talon niya like his volleyball jump is crazy. So I feel like but Rens is still young. So Rens can still work on that skill set, but. His athleticism is, is through the roof. I might put him on the athlete category for now. I might. I just might. I just might. Um, who else? Chanel Defonso is an athlete. Chanel Defonso is an athlete. And I see him working out with better basketball. And I see him trying to get that skill set a little bit, you know, like get that deeper bag. So I'm proud of him. Um, who else is an athlete? Gian Mamuyak. Gian Mamuyak's an athlete. Those long arms. The athlete, Gian Mamuyak. Um, in the PBA. Okay, in the PBA. Let's go to the PBA. Uh, athlete, Chris Ross. Yeah, Chris Ross is an athlete, man. Like, Alex Kabagnot, Hooper. Chris Ross, athlete. Uh, Gio Halalon, athlete. Gio Halalon is an athlete whose skills humabol na. Like, dati, like, nung, nung earlier days ni Gio, talagang sobrang, he just relies on his speed, his explosiveness, his, you know, his awareness, his defensive awareness. Pero ngayon, man, like, may pull-up game na siya, may three points na siya, so humabol. Eto, sige. Okay, sige. So now, I'm gonna give you proof that you can work on your skills. From an athlete, you somehow shift over to a hooper, and then you become both. At yun yung mga nakakatakot. Yung atleta ka na, physically gifted ka na, nagpagaling ka pa. Yun ang nakakatakot. Oh, by the way, um, Hooper, Arvin Tolentino. Arvin Tolentino is a Hooper, man. Like that guy, I don't even know if that guy shoots around. That, that's the second coming of Ryan Buenafe, man. Arvin Tolentino now in the PBA is killing off of just hooping skills. Like hoop skills. Yun lang. Alright, now I'm gonna give you proof that you can turn into a hooper or you can like work your ass off to somehow get that skill set na magagamit mo sa PBA. Let's talk about that. You know who's a, a, a guy who went from athlete now you can consider him a hooper? Uh, CJ Perez. CJ Perez was baby beast. Baby beast! Pero ngayon, man, his sidestep. His three-point shot is there. His pull-up game is there. I'm not saying... Like, he's, he will still... Like, he's still the baby beast. So his strength and his explosiveness and his athleticism will always be there. But now he's tougher to stop. Kasi ang dami na niyang galaw eh. Dumadami galaw ni CJ Perez, man. Low-key, dumadami galaw ni CJ Perez. Who else is a hooper or an athlete and then just really improved? Um, Chris Newsom. First time Chris Newsom came into the Philippines... We all saw him as, I'm not saying he wasn't skillful, but we all saw him as, as that athletic wing guy. Can jump out the building, can, you know, play defense, play offense, diba? dunk. But now his skill set, like, I know, I know Chris. Chris is sobrang sipag ni Chris Newsom. And now he can just really, he reads the floor better. He has his pull-up game on point. I never saw that pull-up game in college. I never did. Or maybe he didn't have the space to do so because he was with Kiefer, but... His pull-up game now is like two game winners in the bubble. Two game winners. 
In college, I never saw Chris get the basketball isolation. Let me win this game for us. Again, maybe it was because Kiefer was with him. But right now, man, like he's got a he's got a deep bag right now. Chris Newsom. Alam mo siya din nagself like natur natuto. Calvin Aftana. Calvin Aftana, like I told you guys, was a former volleyball player. So you know that when he shifted to basketball, all he had was his leaping ability and his timing. That's it. That's all he got from his volleyball, de ba? Pero sa sobrang sipag daw ng tao, ito na, nagka-skills na. Guys, kaya naman nag-MVP last year yan. Napigas of his athleticism, man. His skill set is crazy. And then you add athleticism. Medyo nakakatakot yun. One more guy na nag-improve ng skills niya, Javi Gomez de Llano. He wasn't, he was never an athlete. Javi was never an athlete, man. He's not like his brother naman eh, na talagang, like, he just really worked his ass off with better basketball. And then now, gilas. Gilas pool, di ba? Just because, he has that skill now. Like, he can play wing. Dati, 4 si Javi. Hindi naman niya kaya magbaba ng bole. But now, like, he's there. He's getting there. Diba? And you add his height, he's getting there. So, yun yung sinasabi ko. You can improve on your skills, man. Another guy is Aaron Black. Aaron Black. When I first watched Aaron Black, until maybe late, before he entered the PBA, I saw him as an athletic dude, man. Like, when I play against him sa, sa mga laro-laro, like, he would bump everyone out the way and score hard on sa mga drive niya. But, like, he just really worked. He worked, man. And now he has a shot? In the PBA, he makes three-pointers now. This guy couldn't even hit a shot when he was in Ateneo. Or maybe he, doesn't hit, he didn't have the confidence. But, but like, now, man, it's, it's just crazy, man. It's just opportunity meets preparation. And that's Aaron Black for you, man. I'm proud of the guy. For sure, I'm proud of the guy. So, yun lang. I'm, I'm just saying, like, you can learn. You know who's one more guy na talaga nagugulat ako ngayon? Third year Ravenna. Third year Ravenna to me was was on the same category as Kobe Paras. Trust me. But for some, like now, like Loki, I'm really proud of this guy. What he's doing in the B League. Like I see. He's, he's, he's worked. Like he has moves that I, I didn't see past few years, man. And that shot is looking as good as ever. Yeah. I was talking to Joel again yesterday and I told him, like, good job on 30. Like, keep going. Because once, he, si, si, si Kiefer, Hooper, eh. si 30, athlete yan, eh. Pero slowly, nakukuha na niya yung skills, eh. Slowly, man. He's not there yet. He hasn't reached his full potential. But with the way he works and the way that he he's accepted that that's his Kumbaga, yun yung kulang sa kanya. Kasi athleticism, wala na tayo mahihingi pa kay 3rd day. Like, he's already there, up there. He's already up there when it comes to that. Pero he knows na yun yung butas niya. So, he was really trying to work on it, man. Every day. So, I'm proud of the guy as well. Like, talagang, inaaral niya. Inaaral niya paano pa siya magiging mas magaling. 3rd day Ravenna, low-key, is, is, has, been, has, been, has been a revelation for me. Um, who else? Juan Gomez de Llano, Both a hooper and an athlete. So, marami na tayong Hooper athletes, guys. Madami na. Kasi, yung mga gifted athletic, athletically, Taba. yung mga gifted physically, masisipag din eh. And they're really trying to learn the game. And then now, pareho na sila. Diba? But, you know, athleticism is, is, is something that you cannot teach. You gotta make the most out of that. Diba? So, all I'm saying is, you know, uh, Madami talaga. Iba-iba. Iba-iba lahat yan. All of them are great players. But at the end of the day, makikita mo sino yung hoopers, sino yung athletes. Again, they can be as effective as each other. I'm not saying one is better than the other. But at the end of the day, saan sila magre-rely? Sa skills nila? Sa bug nila? Or sa lakas nila? Or sa bilis nila? Or sa taas nila tumalun? So yun lang yung difference. So there's, like, I'm just categorizing the two. I just wanted you guys to understand that there's a difference. Alright? You understand what I'm saying? Hopefully you do, man. Hopefully you do. If you don't, it's all good, man. There's no hate on this channel. Trust me. So, guys, comment down below whom you think are athletes, whom you think are hoopers, and whom you think are, like, both. Those are the scary guys, man. The both. Yung both. Juan Gomez de Llano, Third Dira Venice getting up there. Chris Newsom is there. Diba? Um, June Marfa Hardo. Bo Belga. Ay, hindi, si Bo Belga. Si Bo Belga skillful oh my gosh low key one of the most skillful big guys in the league si Jun Marfar the both kasi laking tao eh tapos sobrang galing pe Hooper Robert Bolick Hooper 
Alex Cabagnot, Hooper, Roger Pogoy, Hooper, Matthew Wright, Hooper, uh, Perkins, Hooper, Justin Chua, Hooper. Oh, one more guy na naisip ko na athletic muna kasi sobrang bilis niya. Tapos ngayon, sobrang gumaling na through the years kasi masipag din. Jason Castro, man. Jason Castro, when he entered the league, had no shot at all. At all. And then now, he's just a deadly weapon. Like, past, how, hindi ko sasabing past few years. Eh. Past, oh my gosh, I can't remember the last time that Jason Castro wasn't deadly. He was already deadly without a shot. But when he added that shot, Chris Ross is another guy. I, I'm saying he was an athlete, pero now, slowly, oh, ayan na. Nagiging, ano na, ano na, may shot na siya, may moves na siya. But, you know, it, it's it's either or, man. These all, all these players are great players, man. And all these players can really affect the game in their own ways. But, you know, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. Hopefully, you all understand. If you don't, you don't. If you do, cool. <laughs> Alright, so comment down below again. It's a good discussion, man. Kasi mapapaisip ka talaga. Trust me, mapapaisip ka. Ako napapaisip ako. Sino yung hooper? Sino yung athlete? Sino yung both gifted talaga from the start? Diba? Comment down below, guys. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this video. Again, shout out to everyone who... Diba? We're affected by, by, by the typhoon. Hopefully, y'all are good. Everyone, please um, stay safe, stay dry. Hopefully, everyone can just recover from all of this, man. And we can, you know, bangon. Lagi naman tayo bumabangon. Alam nyo naman yan, eh. Diba? Alam nyo naman yan. Again, thank you very much, guys. Please, 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 please hit that subscribe button. <laughs> please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. And I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me again. I missed you guys. I really, really did, man. I missed you guys. And yeah, there you have it. That's my latest video. Hooper versus athlete. I hope I made sense, man. I hope I made sense. This has been Mike Reyes. And take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace and love. And I'm going to see y'all very, very soon.